Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we will try to uninstall the Gnome desktop using terminal. So we have already logged to the greeter or the login screen of Endeavor OS. And we are now having only two sessions. So there is a Gnome session and the Plasma session. So for removing the Gnome desktop, you will have to boot into the Plasma section. Let us input the sudo password. Okay, so now we have to go back to uh, finding the terminal first. So let us. So there is right now only one terminal is available. Because if you remember, we in the last video when we were uh, trying to remove the deep in desktop, uh, we, we could not find the console that is the KDE terminal. So this terminal available is Gnome terminal. So if you want to uninstall Gnome uh, desktop totally, you cannot use the terminal from the Gnome desktop. You will have to use the terminal from either from the XFC desktop or from the KDE desktop. So if uh, KDE is not available, uh, console from the KDE desktop is not available, we will have to use the XFC desktop uh, terminal. So let us check out. Let us search for the console. So it is not showing. So what we have to do is in such cases. First update the mirrors. Then you have to update your system software. So the rating of mirrors is going on. You have to wait for that. Once this is complete, you have to update your system and then you have to open the software store to find the console terminal. Many times the software are not shown in the software center search because the repos are not updated. Okay. So now uh, we are okay. So it is again searching. Let it search. Okay, so the Arch uh, Linux mirror list is generated by the reflector. You have to save to the etc pacman.d mirror list. You have to input your sudo password to save the list. That is done. Now you have to update. Uh, okay, so again it is coming. So anyways, because it did a two times mirror uh, search. Okay, I think now it will not come back. Let us update the system. You have to input the root password or the pseudo password. Which is this terminal You can see it is the Gnome terminal. We will have to install the console that is the KDE terminal. Once the update is done. Okay, so there are some uh, updates available for the Linux firmware, reflector and Gnome tweaks and some libraries. So you want to input yes. So one of uh, we can say advantage as well as a disadvantage, a disadvantage of using the Arch Linux is that uh, too many updates come. Uh, many people don't prefer to have the too many updates because it uses their monthly data limits. And other thing is uh, newer software introduces newer bugs. So many don't prefer. So in that case, you can go with the LTS uh, branch of the Arch Linux uh, distros. Or you can switch over to the Debian or the Ubuntu Linux distros. But uh, people who prefer the latest and the greatest, they always stick to Arch no matter what bugs it is introduced and no matter how many data updates come daily. Meanwhile, let us try to search for the console now. So it is not uh, in here let us search for some more ok 
okay console was not found in the available sources okay so what to do now we will have to uninstall the gnome first how to do it okay what we can do is uh, let us uh, try to install the package so reboot is recommended so let us reboot the system reboot will take very less time Okay, let us input the password again. Let us try to install the console's first search uh, from the Pacman console uh, terminal and then we will try to install it from the terminal itself using the Pacman. Let us try to do that. So the command for installation. Let us go back. So for installation you have to use this. Udo Pacman space dash capital S. So we will need this command. Okay, so now let us open the GNOME terminal. Meanwhile, we can again search it once. Let us open the console because we are restarted, the repos are updated. The console should be available there. Let us see. Okay, I think uh, it is not available. So what we do is, let us try to install using the terminal sudo pacman dash capital S console enter you your sudo password. So it is there. So it is available from the KD extra packages. Okay. So we will install it. So whenever you don't find the package in the software store or center, you have to search it in the terminal and install from the terminal. So that's done. We have installed the console. Now we will switch this off. We will switch this off also. Now let us open console. So console is there. So sudo pacman pacman dash rs you have to use gnome and gnome extras do you remember I will show you again let us go back why they have used two packages for removal so if you see here pacman sudo pacman s uh, dash s gnome and dash s gnome extra so we had in, uh, installed the gnome minimal package that was gnome and the gnome extra package or the gnome uh, so to make it full gnome installation we had used the two packages installation so we have to remove them and for the removal you have to use this command sudo pacman dash rs okay so let us go back to our terminal in the virtual machine hit enter it should it should work just give it some time sometimes it is hanging it will come don't worry okay what we do is we will do it again search console yes now it is working okay now whenever uh, you do installation or uninstallation you have to check out for the conflicts or uh, some other issues warnings so so these are some i think some uh, conflicts are there but there is no warning or there is no unreservable conflict here so we can just go ahead and 
uninstall this and you can see here discover optional requires flat pack flat pack packages support so even if the gnome flat pack uh, support is uninstalled the kd flat pack support won't be installed because the these are two different packages so you must have this knowledge so if the person doesn't have knowledge and what uh, if he sees this message he will not uninstall gnome because he will think the flat pack support will go but it will not go because the flat pack support packages for gnome and uh, kd are different you have to understand this so let us now go ahead and confirm the uninstallation now the uninstallation is started after the uninstallation is complete i will stop the video here in the next video we will check out the kd desktop so the uninstallation of the gnome desktop is complete i will stop the video here now thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next video